When the Israelites cried to the Lord because of Midian, he sent them a prophet who said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I brought you up out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I snatched you from the power of Egypt and from the hand of all your oppressors. I drove them before you and gave you their land. I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live, but you have not listened to me. He's speaking like a parent, right? The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in Oprah that belonged to Joash the Abizrite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to keep it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you mighty warrior. But sir, Gideon replied, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all the wonders that our fathers told us about when they said, do not, or did, or did not the Lord bring us up out of the, out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and put us into the hand of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Um, I just want to do a quick pause because, and I'm gonna, the reason why is because I'm do about those translations and stuff and about how um, I've mentioned this before in other Bible studies and such, how there are times in the Bible where um, we know that angels spoke to people, but there's also times in the Bible that are, depending on translation, it can be implied, um, Bible scholars and priests and um, um, and what have you, you know, um, pastors and such believe, um, do believe that there were times where Jesus, before he became human, was present. And so um, this may have been one of those times because it's talking about an angel of the Lord, then all of a sudden it jumps to the Lord turned to him and said. So it could be translation. It could be that it could be um, a pre-version of Jesus before Jesus became human. <clears throat> so that's something that um, I think would be something good to pray about. <laughs> and because I, you know, and I hear a lot of times as well, happened recently, that, well, you know, uh, scholars say this and this, they're right. And I'm like, <laughs> maybe, uh, unless it's from directly from the Lord, the Lord is speaking out from them. You know, we can, I put it to you this way. Yes, Adam and Eve to, uh, ate from the tree of knowledge, but we don't know, we don't know how to co comprehend it. And we don't know what to do with it. Not one person. <laughs> and so and we have to rely on the Lord for that knowledge. That's where, I, that's where I'm going for it. So maybe, and the best thing to do whenever there's a question, especially when it comes to text, when it comes to the Holy Word, is to ask the Lord himself. Is it better to ask the Lord himself or someone else? <laughs> you know, that's like playing, playing the game telephone. You know, you tell somebody one thing, and by the time the last person hears it, you know, there may be 10, 20, 30 people uh, playing that game. By the time the last person hears it and says, this is what you said, majority of the time it's not verbatim, and it's not the same thing. So, <laughs> it's one of those things. <laughs> really think about... And another way, you know, we're in the book of Judges. Think about how, um, you know, everybody loves polit uh, not politics, but, ju you know, judge, judge trials and, you know, courtrooms and um, criminal investigations and everything. Think of it as like wanting to find all the facts and go directly to the source. <laughs> no, let's do that. And, you know, we're reading the book of Judges. Why not do that, right? Not go straight to the source. So I encourage you, I encourage you to um, pray, pray about it. Spend time and listen. So that's another thing. We always cry out to the Lord. We always want things from the Lord, but we don't have 
an actual, uh, it's not a relationship, right? <clears throat> a relationship is you talk, you listen, or that's part of a conversation. That's also part of a, a relationship. Think about it. Yes, the Lord will hear us. Yes, the Lord may fulfill our, our requests, but he also has requests too. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he may want you to do something. So listen, take that time to listen. When you are in prayer, say what you're gonna say and also listen. Have a conversation. You'll know, you'll feel it. You'll know, you'll, you will know. <laughs> and sometimes the Lord's silent. And some, sometimes the Lord just wants to hear you because he loves us that much. Think about it. Again, if you're a parent, <clears throat> or if you're, or if you, not even not a parent, if you love somebody and you, sometimes you just want to hear them. Sometimes you just want to hear their voice over the phone. You know, it's like that. It's that love. It's that feeling of relationship. <clears throat> it's a lot here, a lot here. <laughs> so I just wanted to pause about the whole thing with this maybe in Jesus. <laughs> what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 